Well, joining me now to discuss Labour's leadership woes is Joanna Baxter. She was one of the 32 National Executive Committee members who voted to put Jeremy Corbyn on the ballot paper in the coming Labour leadership election. But she says she was bullied and intimidated before the vote with her Angela Rayner, the Shadow Education Secretary. Joanna, just give me a sense of the kind of intimidation that you've suffered in the last few days and weeks. Well, there was quite an orchestrated um, attempt, I think, to pressure certain members of the NEC. It was quite clear from uh, Twitter that um, certain NEC members were being targeted. Uh, so I had literally thousands of emails in the space of 24 hours. And as an NEC member, I consult members on the decisions that I take on their behalf. So I have no problem with genuine members getting in touch with me at all. But these were emails which were threatening, not all of them, but many of them threatening um, my own position. Um, it was quite clear that my personal contact details had been put out uh, in an attempt to put pressure on me. Uh, other NEC members reported the fact that a prominent uh, journalist was texting them in the NEC meeting, telling them who to vote for, that uh, a trade union general secretary was calling round uh, other members of the National Executive Committee um, and, their, and their employers to try to get them to put pressure on those individual members of the NEC to get them to vote a particular way. And you've clearly quite shaken by all of this. Yeah, I, I've been a member of the Labour Party for 21 years. I've been active in all of that time. I'm loyal to our party. I have never criticised Jeremy Corbyn since he became our leader. I've never criticised any other uh, Labour Party leader uh, publicly. I've always tried to ensure that our debates within the party, at every level with whoever, uh, whichever wing of the party uh, people support, are always respectful. But at that meeting yesterday, there were numerous colleagues uh, in tears, senior members of the Labour Party who are not shrinking violets, who know how to deal with difficult situations, difficult votes, as we've all had to do before. And I felt that some of the actions in that meeting yesterday were completely unacceptable. Well, Angela, you can see how upset she is. What has happened to your party? Well, first of all, Joanna's been an amazing activist and everything that she said there I concur with. I've voted for Joanna on many occasions because she is a stalwart um, activist within the Labour Party and, and Joanna is no shrinking violet either, so if for her to feel that way, that's absolutely terrible and that something needs to be done to ensure that people don't feel that way. Many people, in particular around the misogynist abuse that people have been receiving, trolling on the social media is absolutely unacceptable and anyone in our party that threatens any of our members should not be in our party. I'm quite clear on that. It's disgusting behaviour. OK, so Jeremy Corbyn, has he done enough to rein in the people who are abusing you? Jeremy has been clear consistently that he does not approve of personal attacks. So I respect that from him. But yesterday there was an incident at the NEC meeting, which I have to call out, which was that there was a request made for there to be a secret ballot for, for all of the votes yesterday to be held by secret ballot in order to protect NEC members who had been receiving an unprecedented level of bullying, intimidation and threats in some cases. There was one colleague who was in tears who begged him to uh, approve a secret ballot process for, for yesterday because she had recently had a stalker section and she was fearful for her position. Um, there were a number of other of, of us who were fearful for our position because people know where we live. Um, and uh, as an NEC member, you have to be open and engage with our members so your personal details are out there. Um, so there was a vote on whether or not we held our future votes uh, in that meeting by secret ballot. And Jeremy voted against that proposal. And I would just point out that throughout today, a number of people have said that actually this is about accountability. I, as an NEC member, have always been held to account to the membership for the way that I vote, and I'm happy to do so on this issue. But that yes yesterday was not about accountability. It was about intimidation. Jeremy Corbyn shouldn't have voted against the secret ballot yesterday. 
Well, I wasn't at the meeting, so I can't but should say you vote for, against the for how that is. But, you know, many MPs, we have to vote all the time and people know that we're on the record for it. There is no place for violence, threats or abuse to anybody who holds a position of um, influence within our party or political structures. Joanna is a fantastic advocate for Labour and she shouldn't come out of meetings feeling like that. That makes me really upset that people like Joanna in our party have failed the way they have and that has to stop. But it shouldn't stop our democracy either, but they have to stop. Thank you both very much.